What's poppin' guys? T Money here to do a Wednesday re uh, Wednesday review, Saturday review. Um, I get the days all mixed up. I apologize. This is coming so late to you, um, but I'm here and I've got to get it done. So the movie I chose is one that I really enjoyed, um, and I promise from now on I won't only be doing movies that I enjoy. I'm gonna try and throw in some that I don't like as much as well, just to mix it up a little bit. But this week, um, this weekend, I've got one that I loved. I actually saw this movie for the first time last night, and I thought it was amazing. I don't know why. I've had this movie for like over a year in my collection. Uh, it was put out by Code Red, Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker, also known as Night Warning. I don't know what took me so long to watch this movie, because I had heard from multiple people it's really good, um, and it was. I loved it a lot. Um, uh, basically, the film it was from 1982. It's an exploitation horror film. Um... Starring, uh, directed by William Asher, I think he's like a TV director, he's known for TV movies or something, um, well known, uh, stars Jimmy Mc McNichol, who plays your main character, Billy, um, Billy Lynch, Susan Tyrell, who plays his aunt, terrific role, uh, his aunt Cheryl, and then Bo Svensson, I think he plays the police detective, Marsha Lewis, and you also get a brief appearance, and, uh, um, performance from Bill Paxton, I think one of his first. Uh, he plays a bully on Billy's basketball team. But so I'll read you guys a synopsis. Uh, this is from uh, Wikipedia. I think this this synopsis is better than the one that's on the back of this. It's kind of confusing. So it's uh, Night Warning, originally titled Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker, is a 1982 American exploitation horror film directed by William Asher, starring Susan Terrell, Jimmy McNichol, and Julia Duffy. Uh, framed as a contemporary. De peace tale, something about, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll skip that, uh, Greek Catholicism, I think that is, uh, but, uh, the plot focuses on a teenager, Billy, uh, who's raised by his neurotic aunt, finds himself at the center of a murder investigation after she stabs a man to death in their house, um, the boy's sexually repressed aunt secretly, secretly harbors incestual feelings for him, uh, meanwhile, a homophobic police detective, uh, investigating the crime irrationally believes the murder to be a result of a homosexual love tri triangle between Billy, um, the TV repairman who's murdered by his aunt, and the basketball coach. It's kind of confusing, but um, that's basically what the, the police detective believes. He thinks that uh, Billy got involved in the coach's and the TV repairman's relationship, thus causing him to kill them in a fight because it did happen in Billy's home. But really, it was his aunt Cheryl. Um, because she's a psycho, uh, without giving away too much, but, um, this film's amazing, I mean, amazing performances by Cheryl, uh, and Billy, um, particularly Cheryl, the aunt, plays an amazing psychotic mother role, um, she's just off her rocker, like, she just goes insane in the middle of the film without giving away too much, uh, just an amazing performance, and it kind of just, it really shows, like, it really delves into her insanity, and, uh, amazing performance so for that alone I highly recommend this film also Billy's great in it as well um, and let's see so uh, no, it says Billy Lynch is a high school student whose parents died in a car accident and there's a big twist at the end I don't want to give it away um, and he's been raised by his aunt Cheryl who's overprotective of him a gifted basketball player Billy is offered a chance at a scholarship to attend University of, of Colorado but Carol dismisses the idea and um, and that's basically your film. You've got a crazy aunt who is sexually repressed, murders a, uh, a TV repairman, spanning, uh, sp thus spawning a police investigation where you have the main policeman who thinks it's the, the kid Billy um, when it's really Cheryl. And then you have the, the um, Cheryl's descent into insanity and her doing everything in her power to basically stop Billy from moving away from the home and from dating women, and, uh, cause she, like, like it said in the synopsis, is, uh, has incestuous feelings towards him, so, um, but just very, very good character, um, character acting in this, or, I mean, psychotic portrayals, um, just very good acting in this, and it's a, I think it's a well-written story, uh, kind of unique for a horror film, it's not your average, like, slasher, brainless slasher, there's actually a lot of levels in this film, I think, um, it's pretty, it's, it's actually really well written. It's a great story. Um, yeah, I mean, so the things that I like, like I said, I think the story's great. The, the, there's an awesome car scene in the beginning. Um, 
car explosion scene and, and uh, um, the death in the car. It's just an awesome, I guess, special effects slash car explosion scene in the beginning of the film. So the effects are good. Um, the setting's cool. The actors are amazing. Uh, the story is great, um, so you have all that going for it. Not really anything negative um, that I can think of at all, really. Uh, just wonderful performances. And when, when, when you've got a, a movie that has great characters, well written, great setup, you know, all these things, and um, you know, I can't really think of much to knock it for. I really enjoyed this film. Um, so yeah, I would uh, highly recommend this one. I'm going to keep it short tonight just because it's late and I've got to get this up. So, uh, Butcher Baker, Nightmare Maker from 1982. You also get an early performance from Bill Paxton. I think I mentioned that in the beginning, but highly recommend this film. You can get it uh, from Code Red. I have a feeling it'll be out on Blu-ray within the next couple years. It's so good. I don't know why it isn't right now already, but, um, but yeah, you can get it from Code Red, I think, on Bill's site. So, highly recommend this film. Get it. It's great. It's probably one of the best movies I've seen in a long time, even though it's old. Um, and my apologies if somebody has somebody from the crew has reviewed this before. I haven't seen it, so I just wanted other people to to um, to watch this movie. It's good. All right, peace.